Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Guys, we got us a, a big, uh, looks like a 16 ounce can here. This is Enter Night. Uh, and it's uh, from the Arrogant Consortia. Uh, thought it was Stone with that logo on it, but uh, it's not listed under Stone's name. It's under the Arrogant Consortia. Consortia, consortia. So, uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe, uh, maybe they're spreading out or, or doing something. I don't have any idea why it's listed under arrogant consortia. So maybe they're doing something different. I don't have any idea. Uh, this comes by the way of Mr. Fudge, and he has sent me a bunch of beers. And guys, I am certainly appreciative to him for all the beers he sent. It was a monster beer mail package. Uh, granted, some of them weren't as fresh as. I would like for them to be but I have no control over that and he may not have either so he just wanted to send me a bunch of stuff that he knew that uh, I hadn't reviewed yet or, or I could not get here uh, and I am very uh, glad that he did like I said some of them have been a little past their prime but it is what it is and I do appreciate him spending his hard-earned money that was well over $500 worth of beer in that monster beer mail package and he told me it was like a hundred and forty some dollars to ship it so I mean my god the man has spent close to seven hundred dollars gathering beers and shipping them to me on that package so I do not fault him one bit uh, for some of the beers having a little more age on them than I would like for them to be or what they should have been so I I just want to reiterate that, that I do appreciate all the money that he spent on buying them and on shipping them. I just want to reiterate that. I mean, uh, uh, I am very, very appreciative uh, uh, of the beers that he did send in that bear mile package. So, like I said, he sent this one and he's got it listed as stone, but like I said, when I try to find this enter nine under stone, I'm well, wasn't, wasn't available. So when I just typed it in, it comes up under Arrogant Consortia. So I don't know what's up with that, whether they're expanding and putting different beers under that name. Uh, and the night, everybody knows about the, you know, Sandman and Meca Metallica song and stuff. And it does have, uh, in collaboration with Metallica here on the, on the back of the can. So, uh, very colorful can. And it is a printed up can, so they specially printed it up. This is not a huge beer, it's only a 5.7%, guys. And it is a Pilsner, so into the lager uh, arena on this beer. And I don't buy a lot of lagers. Uh, matter of fact, I don't buy any lagers anymore. I drank lagers for 30 some years, guys, and uh, I like the, uh, the ales a little bit more now. I like the hoppy of them and, and stouts and porters and and they just have more taste to me other than grassy grainy uh, lawnmowers type beers. Uh, so I don't buy a lot of lagers or pilsners. Uh, one because most of them are in the five to six percent range and like this one is and I like mine to be in at seven percent and up from there. So let's see uh, some make some really really tasty beers so hopefully this will be impressive. Uh, Let's jump over to Untap, and they have it at 45 IBUs on this beer. And this one was canned on December the 5th of 2018, so we're six months old here. So uh, it's time to get on with it. Uh, the commercial description is fairly long here, guys, on Untap, so bear with me. It says it's on. It's time to get started, to crank things up, to get loud. That thumping you feel in your chest isn't your imagination, it's your heart, it's life, it's the rocking tunes. It's your inspiration wanting to break out, it ain't gonna sit there waiting, so mother, grab it. 
This is a collaboration in the truest sense between two entities that were born on the fringes. We've navigated life from a different perspective. We've imagined things differently from what they were and set about using our art to change the world according to our vision. We started being misunderstood by many and loved by few. Today that's the same. But that few has become more, a lot more. That's you, my friend, and we're stoked you're with us on this journey. The day is winding down. It's time to get started. No more waiting. It's time to get loud. It's time to enter night. So, let's get it on here, guys. And get this into the glass. I do have my Pilsner glass here, my lager glass. And uh, we'll see if we how much of it we can get in there. I'm not going to pour it super aggressive because I don't want 10 fingers of head with a 16-ounce can. But I'm still not sure we're going to be able to get it all in here. Look at that. It's in there. It's all in there. So, uh, by looking at the logo, you can tell that's maybe off their arrogant bastard or whatever there. That's their logo there. Uh, on that easy pour, we got it all in there. We've only got about half a finger of head, maybe a little less. Does look like a lager in the glass. That's a light golden color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. To the nose we go. A very typical aroma uh, on this beer, guys. Grassy, grainy, maybe a little hay or straw. It smells like a typical Pilsner, guys. But knowing uh, it's not a macro lager, it's not brewed with rice, corn, adjuncts, or any of that crap. So, quality ingredients, but it's, you know, very typical on the aroma. So, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Mr. Fudge. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Be severe, very typical. Grass, grain. Very light, very crisp. Heard no alcohol uh, taste to it at all. Fairly easy drinking. It's only 45 IBUs, which to me is a little heavier than some of the macros, probably. Very decent beer, guys. And I don't know what this costs. Uh, he didn't give me that information on the sheet that he sent with me. And uh, I have asked uh, on some of the stuff that he sent me. I stated I didn't know what it costs. And, and a couple of them that I've posted so far, uh, he has uh, the comments on what it costs, uh, if he remembers or, or if he knows. So, uh, I mean, if, it, if you can get a six pack of this and it's reasonably priced and it's 16 ounce, uh, would probably be a good deal. You're going to get a better made beer than anything Budweiser or Miller or Coors makes. So uh, I would definitely, if I was into bloggers, I would purchase this over any of that macro crap, guys, because there's no adjuncts or fillers or rice or corn in producing this beer. So, well, let me sip on this thing. It's a big glass of it, and we'll come back and give it a grade. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on a while. A little bit of lacing left on the glass. Pretty typical for a lager, uh, the smell and the taste. Uh, the only side note to that is it's made with quality ingredients. Uh, so I can't reiterate that enough. Uh, a lot better beer, made beer, than what you're going to get from any macro lager. Uh, so support the, uh, the craft beer guys uh, because you're going to get a lot better ingredients. In the beer that you're drinking so uh, but still kind of and I consider these beers like lawnmower beers and I don't say that derogatory but it's something you can come in and have one maybe even two of them and go back out and do what you were doing and not be too inebriated where you're gonna get hurt or do anything stupid hopefully uh, but this is a 16 ouncer so if you're drinking two of these uh, you might gonna get a little bit more alcohol than two 12 ouncers so just be aware of that. But it's a decent, okay beer, guys. It's not my cup of tea, uh, but uh, I would have probably, 
in my younger days would have, would have probably appreciated this a little bit more than I do now because they, these beers just don't have enough taste for me. I want to taste some hops or something. Uh, but it is a, a well-made uh, Pilsner. Uh, so, very enjoyable. Glad I got to try it. Final joke. Definitely not world class or outstanding, and, and if you say it is, I'm not going to argue with that because it is well made with better ingredients. But it doesn't do a whole lot for me, not for a seasoned craft beer drinker. Probably don't appreciate the lagers and the pilsners as much as I probably should, uh, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, uh, a good transitional beer if you're coming off of the macro lagers into a pilsner or a lager. Uh, that's made from a craft beer brewery where they're using better ingredients. So I swear I'm going to leave it. It's a B beer to me, guys. So with that being said, we're we'll run over to Beer Advocate and they have it at 3.72, not quite to their B plus range, uh, B beer there. And over to Untapped, uh, they have it at 3.46. That's not quite to their B. That's in the upper end of their B minus range, in my opinion. So uh, I do think it's a B beer, guys. Uh, it's got uh, a very nice logo here, and it's got, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's got the ABV written on it anywhere, because it's kind of plain on the front other than their, their graphics and stuff. And uh, this had the same description on the side of the can that I read you off of Untapped. Uh, and he has got uh, his label here, where some of the information may be on there. So I don't see the ABV unless it's covered up with his label. So, uh, but it does say Pilsner on the front of it underneath the, the name of the beer. So, but it's easier to find, especially if you have a smartphone where you go to Beer Advocate Untapped or <clears throat> even the website from these guys, it's gonna give you the information. Uh, so, uh, decent beer. Uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it. A nice transitional lawnmower beer. So, with that being said, if you've had this one from uh, the uh, Arrogant Consortia, uh, which is, I guess, secret terms for stone. Uh, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.